How does it feel, Shane? Yeah, incredible. Obviously, delighted to, to finally get it done and and get up here and, and try and get settled in straight away. So, uh, delighted. When did you first hear of Celtic's interest? Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I'd say. Obviously, the club at Brighton knew that the situation that I was that I was looking to leave. So it was a uh, it was just a decision then, and I got a phone call. So uh, as soon as I got the phone call, really, it was, it was straightforward for me. As, as a boyhood fan, um, we, there's lots of players who've supported this club who've played here, but is it quite difficult to believe? Ah, you have to pinch yourself a few times. I think obviously where I'm from as well in Ireland and. In Derry, it's, it's huge. So uh, you always believe it one day that you can that you can play for Celtic. But um, now that I'm here, and it's 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 sort of hard to describe with with words. So um, over the moon, like, obviously, uh, a lot of talking has, has been done. So um, I'm just really looking forward to actually getting out there and and pulling it on for for the first time. On. How, how different a challenge is it coming here to play as opposed to what you've experienced in the Premier League? Yeah, it's a different challenge completely. I think, uh, firstly, it's a different league, of course, and and stuff like that. But uh, the pressure of winning every game and and winning trophies is is something that will be different for me, and and something I'm really looking forward to adding, hopefully, to my career and and get more out of, out of the out of the game for me. Shane, is it right that you had offers to go to other clubs in the top flight in England, and if so, what's what made you choose? the top flight in Scotland as opposed to continuing in the top flight in England? Yeah, it did, but listen, I, I went, I had to sit down and, and think about it, but as I said before, as soon as I got the call that, that the deal could be done, I sort of put it to the back and, and there was only one one place I wanted to go and it was different. I'm at a, I'm at a difficult stage in my career where I haven't played a lot in the last year, so I had to make the right choice and and I feel like I'm at a good age to come here and it's something I wanted to do all my career really is play for Celtic and I wanted to come here when I'm at a, a good good age and a good place where I can go on and, and be good here and, and try and be successful. So but as I said, like, delighted and I'm, I went with my heart and, and I'm delighted with the decision I made. So heart ruling the head, maybe? I mean, in, in terms of your career, how big a deal is this for you? How big a move is this for you? Yeah, it's huge, maybe it's a huge club. It's, you can't back away from it. And career-wise, it'll go, I'll, I'll be decided next season, obviously, but um, this season, and the focus is on here, and it's down to me to perform week in, week out, and, and win trophies at this club, and, and that's what I'm here to do. And you want to stay longer than a year? Is that your hope that this is not just a one-year loan? I'm not sure yet what what the actual plan is. Obviously, I'm still contracted to Brighton, and it's it's basically down to them at the end of the day. If they get the right deal for me and and whatever. But listen, I'm just here this season to to go and enjoy myself and hopefully have a successful time here, and and that's what I'm looking forward to doing. And win trophies? Is that a big deal for you? Winning stuff? Huge, huge. It's obviously. Everyone knows the reason this year is obviously a huge year for the club and there was a massive reason to come this year as well and to, to try and get the ten in a row. But I'm not stupid, I know it's gonna be difficult, I know it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard season and it's one that's in my mind already that it's gonna be tough and uh but one really really, really exciting challenge that, that I'm really up for. Shane, did you ever have any opportunities before to come here? Was it ever an option for you? Any other stage in your career? Uh, there was like there was talks a couple of years ago on the Brendan, but um, none really came from it, and uh, I ended up going to Brighton then, so so nothing really came from it. And those talks came and went, and nothing happened. Did you uh, did you fear that this chance might may have slipped away for you? You always fear, it. like listen, it's a huge club, and it's you can't just go up and decide when you want to play for Celtic. They probably want you as well, and and I'm delighted that they wanted me as well, and showed such interest in me and. And that's a big factor as well. So um, you always fear, but I always have this belief that I believe in myself, and, and I believe I can I can keep progressing in my career and and uh, and keep going. Obviously, there's that an old firm game in the horizon. How how much is is that something you're looking forward to saving? And obviously, I, I saw Conor Goldson was giving a wee bit. 
Have you got a stick on Instagram? Is that is that something you're looking forward to? You know, coming against them? Ah, oh, of course. Obviously, it's a huge game, and I've never actually got the opportunity to go to one yet. So, uh, so my first old firm game will be uh, playing them one, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, but obviously a lot of games before that. So I've got to really focus, get my fitness to where I want to be at, and and my sharpness, so uh, so I can be, perform well in the games. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, with Chris Ferrario and Chris Julian, they've been the two centre halves that have started the majority of the games so far, and. But you only become here to, to what's sitting on the bench. You want to be sort of getting yourself involved with the side of those two guys. Yeah, really excited. They they play and learn from them. Two top players in my opinion, and I've watched them closely because obviously I watch Celtic. So uh, I'm as I said, really excited. It's it's up to me to try and push them and try and force my way into the squad. They've got a great relationship together, and it's a tough one. But as I said, I've, I I like. The competition. I like pushing myself. I like trying to improve other players as well, and hopefully, um, I can learn off them as well. You also played a couple of games at the weekend. There, you feel you're ready to go straight into the team. Well, I needed it anyway. I tell you that. Um, it was tough. It was it was a tough week for me, um, fitness wise. But as I said, I'm happy. I've got the two ninety minutes under my belt, which which definitely helped me for Saturday. So I hope that this move will sort of marry up really well in terms of aiding your career, but also you helping yourself as well in terms of receiving their goals. I don't know, like I said, the, the main aim is this season and try not to really look past it. It's, it's such a big year for the club and one everyone's looking forward to. Like, so my full concentration is on this season and hopefully if it works out for both parties, we can work on that. Like, but as I said, we're full concentration on this season. Growing up as a Celtic fan, were there any defenders that, that you watched at Celtic through the years that, that you tried to emulate or anyone that you wanted Big to Big Bobo. Big <laughs> 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 Bobo. No, I, listen, I, I followed Celtic all my life and I was lucky enough to get managed by Alan Stubbs who was here as well and I used to ask him questions every day, probably doing his head on about it, but um, he's just, there's, there's been loads over the years and obviously the, the years of Henrik and, and all sorts. So, and Martin's team I had the pleasure. Martin gave me my debut for Ireland, and and the successful manager he was here. So, uh, I've got good experience on him. The fact that you mentioned these names is that quite an exciting prospect that you know if the club achieve what they want to this season that, that your name could really go down in, in history with, with some big names at Celtic. Oh, um, no, Jesus. listen, they're they're icons in this at this place, and there'd be a lot of work to do for. Or to get yourself in that category, so um, listen, I haven't even played a, a minute yet for the club, so uh, I've got to keep concentrating on myself and, and try and get match fit and game at a time, and and hopefully by the end of the season it's it's all worth it, and we have got them trophies. With this season being s such an important one here, how do you deal with that pressure, especially considering it's currently only a one-year deal? Thrive off it, it's just thrive off it, just enjoy it. Well, I enjoy pressure situations. I, I feel like I play better under pressure when I've got to go out there and win and, and get the best out of me with with having to win and, and go out there. I, I, listen, this is my boyhood club and, and no one will probably take that away from me. So it's just go out and enjoy playing for Celtic and, and play your game and don't think of nothing else. And my game's got me to here, so if it's good enough for the manager, hopefully I can be good enough for the fans. and and go out there and, and more importantly get the silver at the end. What do you think it will be Shane that you add to this Celtic team in your mind what are you bringing? I feel like I've got this mentality of obviously never giving up. I, I, I want to be a winner. I feel like I can I can bring something different to the team where of this winner mentality I know they have got a lot of it here so I need to bounce off that as well but I'll never give up. I'm, I'm a defender who wants to keep the ball out of my net, first and foremost, and and then build on from there. But as I said, I'm probably not pretty on the eye, which he's all probably say anyway about me. But uh, it's uh, I've got a lot more to my game than that. So uh, as I said, go out there. As I the question before, I want to really go and enjoy the season and and have a right go at it and and give it give it my all. Is a winner's medal something that you're desperate to, to get your hands on before you, you finish your career? I'm sorry? Is a winner's medal something you're desperate to get your hands on before you, you finish your career? Of course, especially because I'm here now. I know 
they were obviously done nine in a row and you feel like oh be your luck here <laughs> coming in and don't get it but um I haven't got that mentality I've got the attitude of going there and winning and and I'll never give up as I said before so um winners medals is is key up here and and that's what I'm looking forward to Shane, it seems like you quite enjoy social media. Would that be right? Were you aware of kind I of all the? Enjoy using it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. There's, no, there's, I'm on it, of course. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of fans, I think, who were keen for you to come, and then happy when they heard that you were coming. Were you, how aware of all that were you? Were you aware that there was quite a, a groundswell, yeah. it seems, within the support that, that wanted you to come? Yeah, obviously, I was aware of it. I was getting on social media a lot of it, but um. It was sort of out of my hands and I couldn't really do nothing about it. I was sort of just waiting for the two clubs to they agree and 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 that was it. So I couldn't really do nothing about it. I know I know there was a lot of interest but um yeah, it's here now, so it's all done. Do you feel you might you're missing out a little bit considering it's empty grounds for the facility? Yeah. yeah, it's obviously not ideal and the fans park parkhead here is, is a special, special place and I won't be the last one to say that, so um, I'm just hopeful, fingers crossed really, that, that we can get it all back and, and really experience it.